Hi there, it's Phil here. In a previous video, I showed you Typeinator, which is a shortcut app for the Mac, where you can type in a shortcut in terms of uh, key keyboard presses, and it will type out the rest of the word or sentence or paragraph for you. Uh, this is a massive time saver. I showed it last time just filling out a typical web form, and I use this all the time, and in fact, it's used quite regularly. Um, any time I'm typing into the Mac. So I want to show you some of the other things that you can do with Typeinator and get through some of the settings. So keep watching and uh, I'll show you the interface right now. So this is the Typeinator interface here and I've got some sets that we can look at. Now once you've downloaded Typeinator it will give you a shortcut across the top of the screen and if I can show you that shortcut it's that little T um, and that if you press that T across the top of your screen that will then launch this window that we can now see here. Now I've got a whole set of abbreviation sets that I've been working with for several years some of them are automatically downloaded, they're just imported and somebody else has created them. And a lot of them uh, I have created for myself or I've added to. So even if you've downloaded a set, you can add to that set to really customize it for yourself. But I just want to go through the interface firstly. So at the top of the screen, we have a license button and that will give you your license code for the uh, Typeinator and you can buy a license which would work on several Macs. In fact, I've got it working on uh, several Macs for me and my family. We've then got a thing that's called extensions and essentially these extensions are sets of abbreviations that you can download. There's some statistics which will tell you how many times each of the uh, extensions has been used. Then we've got some settings. So I want to go into the settings first to give you a bit of a clue as to what we can see in the settings. So let's click on that. Now in the settings it comes up, the first thing is activation. And it says open win the window when Typeinator starts and it's talking about this window in the background. Now I, I never really have it running um, in terms of I don't want to see what my uh, shortcuts are because I'm trying to memorize them and that's really the great point is that you're memorizing a lot of the expansions. Some of them are automatically applied but uh, I don't need to see the, the screen. But I always have automatically start Typeinator at login. So if you turn your computer off or you let it sleep or whatever and you restart it, you want Typeinator to automatically come on so that it's monitoring the text that you're typing in. So that's an es essential part of using the software. And then it says show Typeinator in the menu bar and that's really where this T comes up and it sits in the top menu bar, you can click it and then you'd be able to bring up this window. There are some keyboard shortcuts I to show the window. You've got um, Control T. To pause expansions, you can do Control Shift T or you can select your own new keyboard shortcut. There are situations where you want to pause expansions because the expansion that you keep typing might not be uh, required at that time. So th th there's times that you'd see to, to be able to do that. So the pause and restart expansions is, and then you can do a quick search, which is um, control and return. So you can look at those things as well. Anyway, so that's the first bit. Expansions, it says enable quick expansion. Um, if you experience problems, you can disable that. You can get it to give you a tick, a high click tick. Don't know if you can hear that. And corrections will give you a little bit of a sound feedback. Now, uh, there are a couple of other links to other software that you can get it to talk to, as well as uh, Popchar, which is another of the Ergonis software products. Now, 
this is an important area here that I want to talk to you about. Just in this bit here, it says the sets folder. And I store my library, my abbreviation sets, which you see in the background, uh, all of the background here. Those sets are stored for me on my iCloud drive. And what that means is then that I can simply make a change on one computer and the sets get amended and adjusted for all of my computers that, are, that I'm using. So I've got uh, a couple of computers that I like to keep updated and that's the way I do it. So I actually have a sets folder in my iCloud drive, okay? If you've just got one computer, you can store your uh, type in to sets just simply in the documents folder. Uh, but I find that using the iCloud drive and referring all of my type in to instances to the same folder is fantastic for me because, uh, as, as I say, I can create a shortcut and it will work on any of my computers. OK, so that's that. Uh, in terms of updates, we can look at check, checking for updates and the current version that I'm talking about is type in 89.1. So that's the, the version that we're currently on. OK, so let me click on OK here. Previously, I went through the demonstration set and now I'm going to go through the uh, auto correction British English just to show you what that is. So that's a downloadable set. And the way you can get to that is to go to extensions and you see here that you've got auto corrections British English. And if you click on that, then you can add that to your system. So I've already done it, so I don't want to get a duplicate set in there, but that's how that would work. And there are a whole bunch of additional predefined sets that you can add if you want to. It will try to help you and correct words for you that you might have misspelled. And so let me show you how that might work. So let's bring up text edit and just make it a little bit bigger here. So you can see that I've got a text edit window just here. Now, one of the examples is if on the top, we can see a sample that says a double B O U T, which would be corrected to about. So let's see if that would actually work. So I'll leave that up there and let's type A B B. As you can see, I'm typing O U T and I do a space and it, and type in Ata has corrected that for me. So that's how that would work. Just if I give you another example and show you, let's say if I maybe mistype accident. So here I'll just do return A C C I D A N T. It's automatically corrected it to accident, uh, the correct spelling. So you can see that that would work very, very well for us. Um, across a range of different spellings. And there are, in this library, 903 mistaken spellings that it would correct. On top of that, there's actually an auto correction for um, British. And so if I just select that set, there's 2,300 there. And as, as I scroll through, you can see that there are a whole range of words that are typically mistyped or misspelt, and Type in Ata will simply correct them for you in the background. It will give you a little tick or a low tick when uh, it has corrected a word, so just to give you an idea that it's actually made some sort of change for you. So that's what those are. The rest of the ones that I've got here are more or less personal ones, but I'll go through some of those in the near future and try to keep this short. So. I hope that that has given you an idea and whet your appetite as to what Type in Ata can do. If you watch another video, I'll show you how to set up your own uh, shortcuts and add some more new ones. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers for now.